Hey, what's going on guys? This is Sahaman back with another action figure review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is based off of the 1988 collection, the classic collection. It says here originally released in 2004, uh, so I never owned this thing. This is the uh, uh, M-E-C-H or Mech Wreckers Motorized Battlesuit Raphael. So I'm going to be reviewing this one. I'm also going to be uh, reviewing the uh, Leonardo one pretty soon. If you look at the packaging, you know, it's got that same um, old school kind of background there. You got a picture of Raphael. And it shows you right here, it says motorized walking action. So you can get this, I'm guessing, in a uh, different kinds of um, modes or whatever. Uh, if we look on the side of the packaging here, it shows you a nice little picture of the, the vehicle right there. Or the machine, robot, whatever you want to call it. Right here in the back, though, we got... Uh, a lot of little features that you know it tells you exactly what it does and uh, what you can you know do with it. But uh, you can see right there. Let me zoom in right here. So you can see it says right there. It says real motorized walking battle suit will tread into action at the push of a button. So that's pretty cool. Um, little read up there. If you guys want to read that up, you guys can uh, feel free to pause that and read the little bio on this uh, vehicle. On the other side, it's got some some of the cool artwork there, like the back of the packaging of the old uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Little read up right there. If you guys want to read about the turtles, I'll scoot it in just a little. And uh, some really cool artwork if you guys are interested in that. But this is a really nice uh, dis uh, box that even if you don't want to open this for like you know you min on card collectors just the box itself is just really nice i love the packaging on this um again it has that throwback uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles packaging got some really cool artwork on there it's just really cool and this is brought to you by uh playmates and it says right there i'm just reading that on the bottom it requires three AA batteries so now i gotta go get some batteries so i'm gonna take a quick break and we're gonna take this outside of packaging so stay tuned guys all right so here we have Raphael's mech wreckers outside of packaging this looks uh pretty cool to be honest with you get a quick little top to bottom look at this thing it's actually a really, really nice uh, uh, battle suit, if you will, and it does require three AA batteries. So there's a quick little 360 look, and now we're going to take a closer detailed look at the actual figure. Okay, so there is uh, some assembly required. Uh, there's a lot of like little twisty ties and little those little plastic bands that keep this thing in the package. So it's kind of um, I recommend you guys get some scissors and a screwdriver and three AA batteries when you're taking this thing out. Now this thing does come with several accessories, uh, more like weapons if you will, but they don't really screw on quick here. You can see this here. This is like, there you go. You gotta kind of jam it in. I'm gonna take this one out though. So he does have these little weapons here on the arms and they're shaped as, it looks to be like almost like size. So that's pretty cool. You can see right there, if you push it in, it kind of opens up kind of like a claw, like it would grab whatever or maybe stab something but it clips into the little um arm here you gotta really you gotta hear it click Let's see if i can do this here there you go see and then in the back of the arm it has this little uh little lever which you just push in and it does that like claw attack action right there in both arms it has it so that's uh that's the arm part and you can see we'll get a close look at the at the arms you can see a little bit of like uh tubing and detail and stuff on there not not too bad um, there is some stickers required to put on here like right there there's the R and I didn't really care about the rest of them but I, I really wanted the R because I mean it's Raphael but everything else didn't really make a difference on how this looked the arms do have a little bit of articulation it's got like a bend at the bicep and the arm does go forward and back so it is a little articulated it's got this little like shell like feature right here on the shoulders and uh, if we go up a little, you can see he's got three different cannons right there on the top. And this is right here is where more stickers are required on um, each side right there. And these little uh, caps, they, they open up. You can cover them or, or keep them open to keep them closed. But you can see that there, like little missile action. There's a little knob right there on all three of them. To the top one, the middle one, and uh, this one here, and then the one on the right. And what you do is you basically just turn it and it shoots out all three of them. Where's the other one? It's kind of tricky. This one doesn't, oh, it's the middle one. 
there you go. So that's that's how you shoot those out. This is what the little cannon thingies look like, and they just they just pop right in. So that's pretty cool that you know it has that. This is this would be great for kids or even just for a collector for having this on display. Um, now the leg part, if you guys want to take a look at the legs, you can see all the little like gears and stuff. The uh, tires and everything uh, had like this little like tread. It's like a rubbery material, which is really cool. It's got little wheels right there, but we'll get into we'll get more into this part in a minute. But if you look at the side view, you can see like little gears and all these little like uh, 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 mechanic work and stuff right there. There's the back of it. You can see this is where you take the screwdriver off and then this is where the three AAA batteries go. And here's the the middle. The, you see right here, there's a, there's a left, there's a right, and there's a middle. The middle part where you keep the switch is where you're gonna, it's going to be off. I'll get to what the left and the right means in a minute. But let's take a, just a quick little look at the at the legs on this figure. There's no articulation in the legs. Um, to take Raphael out, I'm actually not going to take him out. I'm going to be giving this figure away for a contest along with another figure. So I'm going to leave him as is because um, he does have these little rubber bands and stuff in here. And I don't want to take the figure out because it's basically the same exact figure as this guy. He just doesn't have the accessories. But in order to take him out, the little... Um, can I zoom down a little bit more? This here opens up, the little chest piece opens up. And I see you can see you can open it up. And the leg parts open up here. There you go. And then you just take Raphael right out of here. You can see it's got a little seat and everything in the back, so he's nice and comfy. And you just pop, close that right back into place. And uh, Raphael's ready for some damage. I mean, this is a really cool vehicle. It's got a lot of cool little cool little features on it. It's got the three missiles on top. It's got these little grabbing claws. And overall, the figure just looks pretty damn nice. It is very, very cool. And you can see like the, uh, the size difference. If you were to put Raphael right here standing uh, next to him, you can see it's quite a large, it's quite a large uh, uh, um, uh, battle suit. It's really nice. It's Actually, I mean, when you look at it in packaging, you're thinking to yourself, ah, it looks kind of corny, but it's actually a really nice figure. I'm really anxious to get the Leonardo one uh, out of it, but it's got like little cool tubings and all this other cool, great little uh, features to it. Now, getting into the, the part why this needs batteries. Man, this tread part's coming right off. Okay, so there's a reverse and there's a forward button. Hit it in reverse. Back up the camera here a little bit. And this thing actually does ride. Here, we'll get it coming. We'll get it going reverse. Actually, it's coming forward. And you can see the little treads moving there. Get it to reverse. It's actually going over the board there. You can see that right there. This thing really does. Move. If you guys want to take a closer look at that, how that works, you just hit the switch on the back, on the upper back, and you can see this is. Uh, it can go forward or it can go in reverse, and this thing really does. Uh, ride on its own pretty good. It's actually a really really nice feature I didn't even know it. I, I didn't even know it did this until now and I've had this for a while I didn't even know it required batteries, but you can see him going along there just taking off on his own And then coming closer to the camera getting ready for his close-up All right guys, and there you have it today. We're taking a look at the Classic Collection Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mech Wreckers Motorized Battle Suit Raphael. This is available at toy stores. You can find it at Toys R Us. I think the price on this is about $50. It's a really cool fi uh, figure. It's got a lot of cool little accessories and stuff, cool little features. Um, and the uh, p the thing that is, you know, it's motorized makes it even a, a, a better figure. And plus you get the Raphael in it. Uh, this was released back in 2004. This would be great for any of you. If you guys have kids, this would be great for kids, for Christmas gift or whatever. For you adult collectors out there, it's great to have uh, uh, in display with your other uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, guys, this is Raphael. This, <laughs> that is my name, but I meant to say this is Seha, man. Uh, but we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mech Wreckers. Uh, this, is, this is the Raphael battle suit figure, and we're going to be taking a look at the Leonardo figure up next. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please like my uh, videos, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Take care, guys.